Hi, I'm George, and we'll be using Photoshop Elements to stitch images together using the Photo Merge Blending Pictures tool. Now I have several pictures here, this Calico Cemetery, and then different views down the side there and then down the other side as well. And we'll stitch all these things together. Now if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, take a look at my channel for a bunch more Photoshop Elements videos, and take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. It's the best way to learn how to use this program. There are several different tools used to stitch images together here inside of Photoshop Elements, and you'll find all of those in the guided edits right up here. Now to use the guided edit, and we're over here in the photo merge section right there, you need to have your images open. You can see them right down here at the bottom, and then they all have to be selected. Just hold down the control key and choose all of your images so they're all selected like that. Look for that white outline around them. That lets you know they are now selected. Now the tool that we want is this one right here, the Photo Merge Panorama. And as you can see, this takes those images and stitches those together, twists them around, adjusts them, whatever it needs to do to come up with one panorama. Now to take your panoramic pictures, you need to have a camera and then face straight forward. And then you want to have some overlap on your images. Notice the sign here. There's about a third of a picture overlap right here on this side. Same thing over here. There's quite a bit of overlap on these pictures. Same thing over here. You want to have a lot of overlap on your images to make this work out as well as possible. Now when I took this, I was standing right in front of this sign, and then I looked to the left, and then looked to the right. And we're going to see that's going to give us a distortion in here. To remove that distortion, you'll need to take your pictures in a different way. You want to look straight ahead, and then walk to the left, look straight ahead, take your picture, walk some more, look straight ahead, take your picture, still keeping an overlap in there, but always keeping the camera pointed straight ahead instead of rotating the camera to the left or right, and that will get rid of that distortion problem. Okay, we have our images selected. Let's now click on Photo Merge Panorama. Okay, here we are inside of the Photo Merge Panorama right here, and you can see we don't have a good sample of what it's going to look like. You're only going to be seeing one image. So it's a little hard to actually check this out and decide how you want to approach this. You may have to do this a couple of times. Now I know that I've turned the camera to the left and I've turned it to the right. So it's kind of feeding off in perspective on the left and the right hand side. Over here we have some panorama settings right here. Click on that arrow. You can let Photoshop Elements try to do its best job. That's the auto panorama up here and it's usually pretty good. But since I know I have a perspective shift, I'm going to choose perspective right here. I think this will work out better for us. And then we have some settings down below. You want to blend images together. Now if there's any vignetting that's kind of darkening on the edges, you can see a bit of a darkening right up in here. Choose vignette removal. You want geometric distortion correction. We'll try that one as well. And also content aware fill will fill in all the edges. If I roll over this thing, see there's some black spots around those spots in that sample up there. If I roll off of that, they're all filled in. And that's what that content aware fill does. It fills in all the outside stuff. And it's actually very good at doing that. You see down here that panorama will be created in expert mode. So once you're all set, once you've made your decisions here on the technique you want to try, I'll try the perspective, and then you've set your settings in here, just come down to the bottom and click on create panorama. And now Photoshop Elements is going to go through and do its magic using its artificial intelligence, and we'll see how well it does. Now normally it's pretty fast about this, as you can see it's going through pretty quickly in here. It's figured the whole thing out, I think. You can watch it up here on the right hand side. It's now working on that fill, and we'll see how well the fill does. Now, if this doesn't work, we can always go back and try a different setting. There we go. Okay, that did a huge, huge fill in there. Kind of stretched the right-hand side out here, and it didn't really do that much on there, and it did some weird stuff at the bottom. I'm not really happy with this particular look. Let's go ahead and try this one again with a different setting. I'll click on Done. Let's just right-click on this panorama and Close, and I don't want to save anything. There we go. Okay, let's try the auto setting, see if that's any better. Okay, panorama. There we go. So you may have to come through and try a few different ones until you find one that actually works out well for you. But again, we'll try this auto and see what happens. Double check our settings, and I want to have all of those selected. There we go. And then create panorama. And we'll give this a second shot and see if it does better on the auto setting. Okay, it's working through. It has found the pictures. It's found the overlaps. It's now aligning the images as you can see here. There's the panorama already set to go. We can't see it yet, but it's working on it. It's going to be thinking about the fill. And there it is. Okay, a lot less fill this time, which means a lot less fake picture in there. And I think this is much nicer to look to it. You can see where the fill is up here with that selected area. It did a pretty good job down there. It looks like a real accurate fill. There's still a distortion, which I mentioned at the beginning, 
and you're going to have that if you, you just turn your camera to the sides instead of walking to the sides. You'll get that kind of a bend in there. Okay, when you're happy with this, you can finish this off either in quick or expert mode. I always like expert mode. Or you can just go ahead and save it right here. Let's go to expert mode first, just in case you want to tweak this at all. The first thing I want to do is just to delete that selection. So select and deselect. There we are. And we'll stretch this out a little bit. I think I can do it about this much. You can get it beneath our layers up there. And see if we can get just a little bit larger on this. There we go. You can see most of the panorama in there. So there's kind of a bend right there. Again, that's because I was looking straight forward and turning my camera to the left and turning my camera to the right. If I had walked left and walked right and kept my camera straight forward, I'd have a nice straight line in there. But still, it's a real nice clean panorama. I'm not seeing any overlap problems in here, no overlap edges. So it's done a really nice job about that. Let's take a look and just see what actually was happening in here on those overlaps. I'll go over here to the right hand side. I'm going to hide that panorama. You can see here it is. There's the overlaps. There's one kind of right in here, right in here. And that kind of a warp effect in there, that's Photoshop elements coming in and trying to adjust the perspective on this. Now if I take one of these, let's take the one furthest to the right. That's this one right here. If I pull it over, see there is where that overlap is right there. It actually comes in and does a very careful job at finding the best spot to choose to overlap the images. And then it just kind of links those in together. And again, does a real nice job. As you can see, it also has come in and adjusted the values in here to make the values match clear across. So it's a great tool, does a real nice job, and then you end up with this beautiful panorama here, stitching all those different photos together into one large panorama. So there you go. That's how to use the guided edit over here and the photo merge panorama to stitch several images together. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, Check out my channel, of course, for more Photoshop Elements videos. And if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, the best way to do that is with my complete training course, where I go through all the tools, all the menus, all the panels, everything. Okay, and I'll see you next time.